On the evening of Thursday, December 8th, dozens of law enforcement and first responders arrived at Meyer in Oxford to make sure area children have a memorable Christmas. Shop with a Hero paired up representatives of the Oxford Police Department and Oakland County Sheriff's Office with local families. Donations from local businesses and individuals helped make the event possible. Actually, Meyer started this like 20 years ago. Uh, they started out with having Shop with a Hero a couple of kids at a time. So over time, over the last 20 years, uh, us, the fire department, the sheriff's department, did some fundraisers and got some more money together so we can have more than just a couple of kids. And it's bloomed into uh, this large of an event every year. And because of Meyer um, and setting that platform for us, we're all able to do that. So everybody does their own fundraising in their own way. We have uh, residents in our community that uh, give to this, uh, this lovely, um, event. We've got businesses in our town. If most of our businesses and our residents, I mean, we just have a couple of kids. So we have to thank all of those guys for contributing and making this happen today. So it's our wonderful community that, you know, that's why I work here. Lieutenant Darren O'Fiera talked about how the sheriff's office gets partnered up with local families in need. So right now, the families are going to be tied in with the school resource officers. So they're going to be the ones that's best tied into the community of who may need a little bit extra assistance. So right now we go through those and we try to find out who needs help the most. Orion Township Supervisor Chris Barnett showed up to tag along with the kids shopping with the sheriff's deputies. So this is one of my favorite days of the year to see our deputies, our firefighters, our first responders hanging out with kids, shopping. Some of them not much experience. I shop with Lieutenant Ophira, not a very good shopper. Uh, <laughs> It's, it's, it's really special. First of all, the front end of the, the community donating. I had a breakfast last Friday with some local business owners. I think we raised about $2,000 just over breakfast. Uh, Bill Golling threw in $1,000. Um, so it's, it's really cool to see the community stepping up. And then the kids that are shopping and they're buying blankets and shoes. I mean, a few toys, but I mean, they're so sensible in their purchases. Like kids to get a brand, a brand new pair of shoes are more excited than most kids would be for toys so it's it pulls at your heartstrings and it's just it's a great event right now unfortunately a very negative uh, connotation with law enforcement so going out with the kids right now gives them a better idea of uh, we're not always the bad guy we're there to help we are here to assist the community and that's what we're here for but we can't do any of this without the community support uh, this has been completely almost grassroots between business and the community with just citizens themselves. So we're just there to facilitate with the kids, but it's really the, communi the community that's doing this. Less than a week later, the Lake Orion Police Department gathered at the Target store on Brown Road for an event of their own, although on a slightly smaller scale. 15 kids from Blanche Sims Elementary School were paired up with police officers and given a $150 gift card to spend in the store. This is the thing that we all look for every year because to see the smiles on the kids' faces um, when they're actually picking out something for them, it, it's, that's long, lifelong, la lasting. Uh, it's something that I, I get goosebumps just talking about. So, The COVID pandemic had a huge impact on the program over the past two years, preventing organizers from hosting an in-store event. But in 2022, Shop with a Hero returned to Target thanks to generous donations from the community. We have a lot of donors. Uh, main donor is Tim Hortons. Uh, Jeff uh, from uh, Tim Hortons was a big donor. Uh, Volucci Electricity was a main donor. And there was a lot of individuals that, out there that actually donated also. Target has done a phenomenal job. They have a whole team that's going to be here dedicated just for us, making sure that we have registers and everything like that. They've stocked up the toy, toy aisle for everybody. And uh, we should be, uh, it, Target's been phenomenal for us. From Target in Auburn Hills, this is Joe Johnson reporting for ON TV News.